Today is Thursday, November 7th at Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. We are running a sample of sludge from Rob Hill at Orchid's Paper. I already took a photograph of the pail as received. I'll just show you in the video here. I took a very, very small as received sample right there. But uh, the idea is just to show you what the volume is in the pail. I think one of the important factors is what kind of volume re reduction we get. So here's our little CP4 screw press, and Bill's going to start feeding it in. We'll try not to let any go anywhere else. I don't anticipate there being any difficulty running this at all. No difficulty with feeding or anything. The cone is closed. There's 20 PSI on the air cylinder. Uh, so we see the beginnings of the liquid removal right there. we're filling the machine. There we go. Starting to get some liquid out at the very discharge end. You will get leakage past the cone until you get a solids plug built there. And there you go. What you're seeing leaking now I think was through the cone bushing perhaps. Anyway, a little residual material from the previous test, but I tried to get it all out. Just a tiny bit, no big deal. There is a bit of solids escaping with the liquid through the screen. creating a flow of press liquor. I'll catch some of that press liquor here in a second. It's creating a nice press cake for sure. This press can handle much more than 20 PSI but we want to run this test at a pressure that allows us to duplicate the results with larger machines.
This doesn't strike me as being the fastest processing material we've ever tried. It's steady and it's a good process. It, it seems to be working nicely. That's the end of the pail. We're six minutes and 40 seconds in. Probably slightly less after, because of the introduction, but... The little CP4 here is the most susceptible to bridging. And actually it is being a little bit difficult in the inlet hopper. So whatever we get as a measured uh, throughput capacity from this test, we probably are, are uh, underestimating it to some degree because we've had to help the press cake get through. So if it was feeding without any difficulty and we knew we were keeping the press pack full 100% of the time, then the, the numbers would be more accurate. is empty. Oh yeah, it's a done deal. <laughs>